So recently I bought myself a bottle of glass just to put some of my switches in. Currently it has a mix of Zelius, Sakurius and a little bit of Rosalius in it. Hey what's up guys, it's Mirai. Welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing man? It's been a while but I feel like it's time for us to talk about the Polycarbonate Percent Kanoi. As usual before we dive straight into it, this video is sponsored by <laughs> ExpressVPN. You already know it man. Hear me out on why you need a VPN. It provides a shorter connection routes between you and the gaming server which can reduce the ping time and overall lag. You can play with your friends on any server worldwide even if they are restricted from an IP address from a certain country. Not only that, when you game on an encrypted connection, your IP address can easily be found by rival players who can DDoS you and even dig your personal information out. Now what are the reasons to get ExpressVPN other than gaming? ExpressVPN encrypts your internet data, preventing websites, hackers and your ISP from assessing your browsing behaviour and reselling your personal data. Also, do you know that ExpressVPN provides content unblocking? For example, assessing a show on Netflix that is restricted in your country. Like Kimi no Nawa, for example. Last but not least, ExpressVPN costs 7 dollar a month with a 30 day money back guarantee. Go to expressvpn.com slash mirai or click the link in the top of the description to get yourself 3 extra months for free. Back to the keyboard video. So I bought the keyboard through r slash macmarket which is the aftermarket for anything related to mechanical keyboards. All of the specs in the keyboard are decided and built by the original owner of the board. It came with a Luke T1 tactile switches with a 67 gram spring sitting in them. The material of the plate in the keyboard is stainless steel, which is slightly more pingy than a polycarbonate plate. Personally, no complaints from me. Stabilizers in the board are also Luke and clip which is a nice bonus as well. The percent canoe in this video is a 65% layout wireless Bluetooth supported keyboard. However, it does not use as QMK which is what makes me a little sad. It came with their own software that you can customize and I can honestly just tell you guys, it's disappointing. The keycaps I'll be using today is GMK Metaverse with the GMK Eclipse Pale Blue Arrow Keys to give it a more bluish feel to it. Not gonna lie, I was hoping to slam my GMK Hiragana or GMK Bento Hiragana into it but I'm just a little lazy to take them off my other boards. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see it but there's actually a very slight underglow. Eighty words per minute with ninety-five percent accuracy. Now I know a lot of people love comparison, which is why now I'm going to plot my acrylic Alice in, and we'll compare the sound and just the sound. Honestly, I'm not really a fan of RGB, but for me, just a corner glow like this is really amazing to me at least. This is just Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, Jesus Super Saiyan, yes. Back to the Megumi. Ah. Dude, 
mouse is so hard to play, man. Now, in my previous video, someone left a comment asking me if do I have any sniper tips and tricks. So today, I'm probably just gonna try to snipe. Now, the secret attachment for the Dragonov is the VLK Lightweight Stock. Now, people think that the attack gives you Inosite Speed. But what it really does is that this one gives you more Inosite Speed. This is a secret attachment in the game. Alright, I'm in a custom game. Just so I can show you guys, you know, a little bit of what you can do in certain situation. This is an enemy. You can sweep it. Shoot. If possible, you, you always want to try to go for... That's a kill. If possible, you always want to try to go for drop shot. Because drop shot in this game is just too powerful. Also, the stun grenade in this game is actually so broken. Try to abuse it if possible. Okay, 3v3 gunfight sniper. Now the reason why you want a good mechanical keyboard is that at the end of the game you can talk shit.